Hello and welcome to this video on IBM Data Replication. In this session, we are going to look at Change Data Capture Engine for MySQL Database as source. The starting point to get to know about this engine is the official IBM documentation site. As we will see, it is at the expected location of IBM Knowledge Center, along with the documentation for other CDC replication engines. We can search on the net about Knowledge Center for data replication, and it should be relatively simple to get to this page. Note that this particular engine is supported from engine version 11.4. It will be advisable to validate our understanding against this page whenever in doubt. The product maintains a list of fixes and enhancements. Refer to this link if you are experiencing any unusual or unexpected behavior to find out if the issue has already been addressed. Next up, let's look at another very important page. This page lists down the supported hardware and software for this replication engine. Click on the edit button to choose MySQL as the source engine and feel free to play with the different tabs. Here we have chosen the supported software tab. This page shows that versions 5.6, 5.7 and 8 are currently supported. IBM's data replication for MySQL source currently uses MySQL binary logs to source data. MySQL writes committed transactions to binary logs. Binary logs may or may not be enabled with GTID. IBM CDC can only work when GTID is enabled. My.cnf file can be modified to alter characteristics of bin logs. Also important to note that CDC supports MySQL's row-based logging. Let's look at the typical my.cnf file. Refer to this link to know more about changing the server defaults. To change the defaults, uncomment the respective line and add an appropriate value. As we will see later in this video, some of the defaults that we would want to change are log bin folder, index file name, log format, data directory, server ID, etc. Let's look at some of the key features that are supported. We can have CDC engine on the same machine as the database or we can have CDC running on a different machine from the database and replication will work in both the cases. The engine supports both enterprise and community versions of MySQL database. The community JDBC driver isn't included in the product itself. For community setup, we will have to install it externally and provide the path during instance configuration. Replication will work if the machine where CDC is installed and the other machine where database is running are of different NDN. Lastly, encoding supported by MySQL are supported by the CDC engine. What are the features that are not supported by the CDC engine? Partition tables are not supported. Views are not supported. So are the materialized views. Replication from slaves are not supported. IBM CDC cannot replicate from all the instance logs of a MySQL cluster. Compressed or encrypted log data is not supported. CDC supports a host of journal control fields. Ampersand user is one of them which is not supported. Here are some of the prerequisites that we will have to keep in mind. Some of them are from the database side and rest are from the CDC engine side. Minimum memory requirement is 1 GB. Database version 5.6, 5.7, and 8 are supported. Database name and IP address or host name are some of the other requirements. CDC engine will need a database user and password. The user must be granted the privileges as mentioned. As we mentioned earlier, log bin directory and pattern must be added in the config file. CDC should have read access to the bin log files and the index file. Let's discuss about few more prerequisites. These are critical for CDC engine even to start. Server ID must be given a value of one or more. MySQL must be configured in GTID enabled and GTID consistency enforced mode. There is one specific need for supporting MySQL 5.7. The parameter show compatibility 5.6 must be set to on for CDC to work. For remote config, the log files should be on a shared disk so the CDC can read from them. If we want to set up secure connections between CDC engine and the database, we can refer to this link on how to set up 
TLS connections between two CDC engines or between a CDC engine and the database. One common error to hit initially could be IBM data replication could not find the required binary log file. The error message prints a current position. Let's now try to decode the position and how to map it to a binary log file. We need to start with the first 24 bytes in the position field of the error string. These 24 bytes can be broken into two parts. The first part is the server UID and the second part is the ID of some transaction. Together, they form a unique ID that can be used to search the binary log dump file. We can see an example of UID colon transaction on how it would look in a dump file. First, we need to get a list of the log files by issuing a query show binary logs to the database. It would help to get the latest GTID and binary log by querying the database show master status. Finally, we can dump the log files using the command mentioned. The command can generate output in simple text. Once we have the output in text, we can search the UID transaction combination string in a binary log file to verify if the transaction is present in the log file. Let's look at a few more simple but critical settings that can cause trouble if not set appropriately. Make sure CDC engine is not configured on standby. Index file exist is correct and has read permission for CDC users. CDC has been configured with the right bin log directory. Lastly, rows query event when set generates lots of informative events. This can increase the size of the log file as well as can generate unknown events for CDC. Feel free to unset it if it is turned on without a purpose.